it's Liz again and I am back. Hopefully I can film more for you guys, but I will have a separate video of why I've been gone and all of that explaining this all of that situation. That I just wanted to pick up for myself. Lately I have been into just pampering myself, taking care of myself in general. And yeah, I there's are just a few of the items to be a collective video. Up. It's not gonna be like I went out and like I bought all this stuff in one day. This is actually collective and I do have a new hobby which is couponing. So I am trying a lot more products and saving a lot more money. So I will have a video on that hopefully pretty soon. And yeah, for right now I do have this video that if I wanted to show you. So if you want to see what I picked up, just stay tuned. This is this is like the third time that I tried filming this video. I already have the things, you know, by categories. I have like hair over here, I have face over here, and I have body over there. It's not all the things for body. So yeah, let's just get started into this video before it gets extremely long. First thing I want to show you is that I picked up this um, Lower Paris Advanced Hair Care. This is a power moisture hydrating conditioner and shampoo. And this is how they look. Now you might have seen at your local drugstore that they do have, they came out with this line and they have like pink, which is targeted for, I believe, color treated hair. Then they have this one, which is the power moisture. Then they have the actual, let me see if I can find the hair mask. Okay, then they have this one right here, which is the Damage Erasing Balm. Now they have like shampoo, conditioner, and all of the line with like, the little treatments to go with it. So, like I said, this is just the Power Moisture Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. And I also picked up the hair mask. Now, I will have close ups if I can and of all the products. If not, I will have them on my blog, which I will link down below so you guys can take a look at closer the pictures and stuff like that. So I am having quite a few of difficulties with my video editor. So yeah, I don't know if I will be able to do close-ups or not. But if not, you can find them on my blog and I will link that down below. Like I said, um, let's just get started. Um, this one is the Laura Paris Advanced Hair Care Power Moisture Moisture Brush Mask and it goes along with this line. I believe it has some other little treatments, maybe some serums to go with it. But I just decided to pick these up. And I'm really excited to give those a go. Um, next thing that I picked up was this Pantene Expert Collection. Now this is like uh, travel size and I didn't want to commit to buying all of the collection. I just kind of wanted to try it out for myself and see if I like it then commit to buying the full size. But I definitely did pick up the conditioner because it was on sale. It was like two for five bucks. And uh, if you guys don't know about my new hobby, I am a couponer now. So I got this like really, really inexpensive and I could not pass it up. This is say, say five, seven signs of breakage, split ends, frizz, which I tend to have a lot, uh, thinning look, dryness, and a luster color, and on really great hair. So decided to pick this one up, which goes along with this collection. This is a travel size, like I said, and this is the H Define. This says it acts up to 10 years a younger and I believe this is targeted for thinning of the hair now I don't have a problem with like thinning of the hair but I do notice that once in a while in the shower like when I am like conditioning my hair and all of that I do tend to have like a little bit of fallout in my hair so I don't know if those are signs of like thinning of the hair or whatnot um, because it's not like thinning up here or anything. It's just like my hair is, you know, constantly falling. But it's not like a huge problem. But I just wanted to pick this one up. Just to try it and see how I feel about it. Uh, it has the shampoo and the conditioner in like the little travel sizes. Which is this one right here. And this one is the shampoo. Since it's age defined, I'm guessing it's targeted to more of like a mature audience. And, um, yeah. So yeah, this is the conditioner as well, and it says it's the same thing. And it also comes with this little serum, which is the Advanced Thickening Treatment. So I'm really, really excited. I will keep you posted, whether it's on my blog or if I make a future video on just this item, or if 
it will come up like in a favorites video or next whatnot. items that I picked up are by the line of Tresemme. Now I have tried Tresemme in the past and they were phenomenal. I have not had anything bad to say about them. So I know I was going to love this items. Now for this one I stock up like crazy because this is the thermal creations. I don't really put heat on my hair that often. For example, if I go in the shower, I like my hair air dry. I don't blow dry it. Um, I also like strain my hair and then I go up on the day and then I don't wash my hair till the second day. So, you know, I'm not putting that much heat on it. I don't feel like I'm putting that much heat because I'm not like straining every single day. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to pick this one up. This is a heat protection up to 450. Now, really excited to give this one a try because I actually had already tried it in the past. But the thing was that I always like left it anywhere and like it spills or like, you know, anything happens to it. So I didn't really get to try it that much. But it's just a heat chaining um, spray. So I knew it would be good. Plus it's from Tashime. So Tashime has never let me down or any of that. Um, this one right here is the Platinum Strength. This is a deep conditioner treatment. Like I said, I've been trying to take care of my hair and then give it a little bit of more of a life because I do have uh, color treated hair and I didn't want to go into highlights because that's just a little bit of more of a commitment but I do have a hair dye right now because my hair is like jet black you guys um, so I just wanted to give my hair a little bit of a love, a little bit of treatment so I picked up a whole bunch of treatments but this one is from Tresemme, it's a platinum strength and it says it repairs up to two years of damage who does not want that right ladies? Um, yeah, really excited to give this one a go and this one's just an essential. This is just a Tresemme all day humidity resistant. This is a hairspray and it's just like the little, I don't know if this would be considered a travel size because I believe travel sizes are a lot smaller but this is not the full So let's move on to the second part of this video which is going to cover face. I just picked up a whole bunch of like really, um, really, I just picked up a few of the towelettes makeup remover wipes because you cannot go wrong ladies it's so important if you have a long stressful busy day to even try to get a wipe and just remove it's really you important know, makeup to take off your makeup in the night because then you know get all that build up and like it goes into your pores and that's how you get acne and breakouts and all of that stuff so I really have been um, getting a whole bunch of makeup remover wipes because they have been on sale like crazy and the first ones that I'm going to show you are by Pons. Now I've actually been enjoying Pons line because this one I actually already opened it. This one is the Exfoliating Renew. So it has like little exfoliating beads within inside of the pad. So you're like cleansing your face but at the same time you're exfoliating your face. And this is citrus and cucumber so it smells amazing you guys. Um, this one right here is by Pounds. I have not tried this one, but this one says evening suit, so I'm guessing it's targeted to more of when you are ready to go to bed. And it has more of a properties of you to relax and calm your skin and all of that. So I'm really excited to try this one out. This was just um, white tea extract and says it lifts away all the traces of makeup while soothing the skin. And this is just 30 wet towelettes. Next one that I picked up is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. This is also by Night, like Night Calming, so it's more targeted to when you are ready to go to bed and you want to calm yourself, relax, and you know pamper yourself. This is more targeted to that. This one it says it dissolves all the traces of makeup and even waterproof makeup. That's what like really really sold me because even waterproof mascara. I'm sorry, uh, because it sold me because when you wear a lot of like mascara, especially waterproof. It is so hard to take it off, especially if you're like trying to take it off like when you are like done with your day and you're so tired and you're just like trying to scrub it off and you can't. Um, you know, I'm really excited about this one right here because sometimes I really get so lazy and I really have such a hard time when I'm trying to remove my mascara. So I hope this can help. Next one that I want to talk to you guys about is the Laura Paris. This is targeted for all skin types and it's also a makeup remover palette. I actually already opened this one as well because I've just been crazy like trying a whole bunch of different ones. But I don't know what to say about this one because I have not tried it for the longest time. I haven't just like targeted myself to just one, you know, 
makeup remover wipe but I think so far I really do like it I do have dry skin and I do notice that my skin doesn't dry out because other stuff they do tend to dry so out. So I have skin. not actually ever purchased anything from L'Oreal, meaning the cleansers or any of that. Mostly all the time that I purchase L'Oreal, it has to be cosmetics. So for me, it was pretty new that I was even purchasing L'Oreal. But um, I actually picked up two items. This is, yeah, two items from L'Oreal. These are just gel cleansers, or in this case, this is a gel cleanser, and this one is, I believe, an exfoliator. Uh, this one is size in all skin types, so I do think that it's like the same thing as these right here. Um, so yeah, this is just a foam gel cleanser, and it says it lifts the dirt, impurities, and won't dry the skin out. Now, I do have some cleansers that I have tried in the past, and they do dry my skin out like crazy because I do have dry skin. So if I use like a cleanser, um, this one dry it says it won't dry out the skin. So I'm really excited to give this one a try because it says all skin types. And I like to pamper my husband, like meaning that I like to. Sorry about that. Um, I like to give him facials here and there. So I am really excited about this one because he does have more of like an oily right skin. Here is Laura Perez. This is a new product and this is the 360 Clean. Now this does come in with like a little cleanser. And I'm going to have to put my phone on side because it is like really excited crazy. about. I didn't even notice it came with a cleanser until I opened the packaging. Uh, this one is an exfoliating scrub. And like I said, it comes with this, so you will like put it in between your fingers and then just go over, you know, put the product and obviously go so over. So it's the really face. helpful that they did that because not a lot of people have the cleansers or like you know you don't want to do it with your fingers. I'm really excited right. to get this one and go. That's why I opened it it's and I've been using it. Clean. I don't know. I've been trying it and I really do like it. Like I said, I have dry skin. And I felt like it's not drying my skin out or any of that. So I really am enjoying that one, but I will feature it in the next video. It could, might come up maybe in a favorites video or just a product review, maybe a routine. Who knows? Next products I do have right here. This one is by Bure, and this one I actually picked it up because it was on sale. And I love using exfoliating. Uh, this one right here, it's a complexion clearing. It says clears out all the pores and improves your complexion without damaging your skin. I actually never had tried, well, actually I've tried something by Bure where it's a little um, pore cleansers or like, yeah, like blackhead cleansers. And um, yeah, so this one is just an actual cleanser and it says it has salic, salic, sick, ax, cannot pronounce this word. So like said, acid treatment, acne treatment, and it's oil free. I don't know, just decided to pick that one up. And then this one is by Garnier. The only thing that I've tried from Garnier was actually hair treatment, so I was really excited to give this one a go. This is a three-way clean cleanser. It's a daily cleanser, an exfoliating scrub, and a purifying mask at the same time. Actually, I don't know if I tried this one already, but it's just like a white consistency. And on the back it has what the cleanser is used for, the exfoliating, like for example the daily cleanser says it washes away the dirt and removes the excessive oil and removes the surface impurities. The exfoliating scrub says it ex exfoliates dead skin cells for super smooth skin. And the third one is the 3 minute purifying mask which it detoxifies the skin and purifies and clogs, um, clogs the pores. So, Sounds really promising. I am really excited to give this one a go and I will feature it in the next video. Next thing that I have here is a cold cream cleanser. This is a moisturizer. Actually, um, makeup remover also. So I've probably picked up... Okay, yeah. This one is the cleanser because I actually... Like really, I was really excited to give it a go. So I actually thought that this was like a moisturizer, and I was in need of a moisturizer. So <laughs> I tried it out, and I remember like wearing it in the bottom of all of my foundation and everything. I remember my skin feeling like super greasy and like not dewy, but just greasy. And then I read the thing, and it says it was a cleanser and a makeup remover. So I actually have tried it as a makeup remover. I really do like it because. I do have very sensitive eyes and I also wear contacts so sometimes I mean I clean my face before I take off my contacts because this is really really bad but um, I do notice that this does not burn my eyes at all so that was a really thumbs up 
And then I also picked up some masks. And actually, I think I have a lot more masks, but I really don't know what I did with them. Um, probably in my drawer or something. I don't know. But these are the Freeman um, Feeling Beautiful. I actually have the purple one and like the peel off one, which is like a cucumber one, which I really do enjoy. Now, since I enjoyed that cucumber one, I wanted to give out another try. Um, this one is the anti stress mask with dead seed minerals and it clogs, clears the pores, and smooths the skin. This one, I think I already gave it a go. I'm not really sure, but yeah, this is the blue one. And it's super thick, so I really, really love that. Um, yeah, this is just by Freeman. And this one is a clay mask, which avocado and oatmeal. Now, I heard of DIY, like, mask, and I do notice that some of them have oatmeal, so I was really, really excited to give this one a go. This is deep cleanse, deep cleans and purifies the pores, so... I don't know. Like I said, I've tried Freeman in the past and I really do enjoy them, so I was really excited about that. And this items right here, I actually, when I take off my makeup, I use the towelettes for my face and I really don't like to use them on the eyes. So I picked up this Alme Longwear um, Waterproof Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I have not tried this one, but in the past, I have used uh, a lot of makeup remover for my eyes and they irritate my eyes so bad because like I said I have really sensitive eyes so I am like trying to see if this one is going to be you know a lot better in that case and it says it also removes eye makeup remove it says gentle eye makeup remover with long wear and waterproof I'm guessing this is for like waterproof mascara and all of that so I'm really really excited to get this one go this one right here is Nitrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. I think I've seen this one quite a bit on magazines and like a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm really excited about this one. It just removes even waterproof mascara. That's another oil issue oil. that I do have with some past like makeup removers. That they tend to be really oily. So like you know you're taking off your, your eye makeup and it's like really oily. I really don't like that feeling. So I hope this one is a lot better. Now I did pick up a... Uh, you know some of the things that are kind of the same thing that you're like why did you pick up so many like I said this is a collective video and I have been collecting this stuff for the longest plus their sales and you know I have coupons to go with it and stuff like that so plus the new items that I, I am a beauty blogger yeah. so I am going to experiment on high-end like beauty products and also drugstore versions because since I am a beauty blogger I want to give you the best of both worlds whatever you know if you could find a dupe for you know this and maybe you know you maybe you found like a high-end product and then you found a drugstore and they're kind of the same i want to give you that type of information you know what i'm saying like i want to be able to be open to not just drugstore but also high-end you know for my audience and that's why i picked up a lot of stuff that are kind of base target it kind of targets to the same purpose but the reason why is because i want to try out more products and let you guys know about them um I believe that's it. Uh, next thing I picked up is this fake bake flawless darker. Now I picked up this one from Ulta, and I was actually really, really excited about giving this one a go. Now they do have another version. Um, hello. Okay, <laughs> they do have another version, which is the flawless bake. I really don't know, but this is the darker version, so it's supposed to make you like a lot darker. Um. I will have a separate review on this and I will give you kind of like a demonstration about it because I don't want to talk too much about it but I just picked up an Ulta and like I said I will be trying out the other version which is just the regular one that they have and yeah so this one is supposed okay to be another longer. item that I picked up was the Suave Moroccan Infusion I do notice that Suave is coming out with a whole bunch of items and they came out with this Moroccan infusion collection and it's a body lotion it says for silky radiant skin I actually have been trying it and you know I'm gonna give you like view. a little bit of it, about it it really does work and I would recommend it for people with darker skin tones because I feel like it would give you the perfect radiant look because I do notice that when I use this my skin is glowy and it's super super soft so yeah, I'm just giving a little bit of what I think about it. I did pick up a few of them. I already have used the other one up. And this one is just a new one. So, 
really really excited I will definitely be buying more of this stuff and I actually have been trying the Moroccan infusion hair shampoo and hair conditioner and the treatment so I will have a review um, you know about those in a next video hopefully a favorites video if I can finish all of this stuff because this has been the third time that I'm trying to film it you guys yeah I actually filmed it about a week ago but I didn't like the um, I didn't like the whole thing because I didn't have my studio lights with me. But anyways guys, I think this completes this haul video. I hope it wasn't extremely, extremely long because I do tend to ramble. But that's the fun of it, right? Because I'm like interacting with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm still working on a lot of stuff for my filming area. Hopefully you like the new background and the new setting. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this video. And if you saw a product that you want me to showcase um talk more about it feature it leave it in the comments not. down below for right now i have to say goodbye and i'm social really media will be back down below whether it's my instagram and my twitter and my blog i do have i'm gonna give you a little spoiler alert i do i am thinking of creating a facebook fan page uh, so I can update you guys more. I can put my videos up and everything. So I will let you guys know when I have it up. I also have Pinterest, which I am obsessed with, you guys. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Sorry, it was all over the place. I have to get back into the whole filming, you know, kind of, kind of thing. And, yeah, so for right now, this was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, if you have any other, you know, question or any of that you want me to do a review, just let me know. I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye!